As we were growing, we were probably told by our parents about bad friends and why we should avoid them. Some of us listened, some didn't. Hanging out with the guys can be fun. It is way more fun than sitting at your desk all day writing. Why then were our parents so concerned? Why could they not just let us have fun? Some people have already found their answer. In this video, I'll share with you 9 types of people you should avoid altogether. 1. The Gossip Listening to them gossip about other people can be fun. The downside is that they would definitely gossip about you too, if you're not there. People who do this often don't have goals and dreams they're pursuing. They have time to look at other people's lives, compare and analyze them. If you hang out with them too often, you may become just like them. You're better off on your own, really. One bad thing about gossiping is that it requires finding ways to engage an eager audience. It is not out of place to see some of them twist facts to suit their listeners' fancy. They slander people all the time. Imagine telling the gossip a secret, and imagine what happens. If you're friends with such people, other people will not trust you, because they assume that you are like your gossip friend. Gossips have a terrible reputation. Although they may appear to have a lot of listeners, every listener is loyal until the day his subject is brought up. Avoid such people altogether. 2. The Bad Listener Have you ever had a friend who seems to zone out whenever you start talking about something personal? Some people just want to hang out with you because it is convenient. They really do not want to get to know you. They can even call, check up on you, and save you a seat in the class. But be careful. Just because someone does all this doesn't make them your friend. A friend understands when he is needed. A friend sacrifices their own comfort for their friends. Friends listen to each other and encourage each other. Every friendship requires a level of emotional investment. If someone is not willing to make any, they are really not your friends. Can you recall a time you had a very meaningful conversation with one of your friends? When you make reference to it, they cannot seem to remember anything. They probably cannot recall because they never listened. Find out if this is a recurring pattern and cut the person out of your life. You deserve people who genuinely care about you. Everyone wants to be heard. If you listen to someone who wouldn't listen to you, it is likely they do not value you as much as you value them. 3. The Judge There are some people whose duty in the relationship is to criticize and disagree with you. Have you ever had an awful day and had a friend try to pin why you are sad to you? If you have, such a friend is a judge. They don't care about how you feel they must express their opinion on the issue. People of high emotional intelligence are empathetic and kind. They understand body language and can tell when their friends just want a silent shoulder to cry on. Your opinion is important, but you shouldn't give it all the time. Your pregnant friend doesn't need a lecture on abstinence, an injured man on safety measures. Judges always make this mistake. You do not deserve to be in emotional chaos because of anyone. Avoid such people at all costs. Friends are supposed to support one another. Friends are supposed to care for one another. Someone who doesn't care how you feel about their opinion doesn't really care about you. If they are not willing to make a compromise on their behavior, let them go. The world is a vast place, and there are billions of people to choose your friends from. Avoid the judge entirely. The last thing you want to do is engage them. 4. The Victim There is a category of people who thrive on the pity of others. You really do not want to be friends with them. They are very self-destructive, like a self-fulfilling prophecy. They believe they are unlucky in life and should be pitied by others. They are also seldom driven in doing anything at all. They prefer to be pitied than to pick up their lives and make something out of it. According to Mexican professional clinical counselor Janet Berkey, the problem with the victim is that there is no amount of this behavior that will ever fill the hole in their heart. The victim is like a black hole of misery. They suck everything they get in contact with inside. Do not try to reason with them. It is pointless. Countless people have a reason from their circumstances and succeeded, but they are not interested. Hanging out with such people can make you develop a perspective harmful to your growth. You can start to feel that the world owes you something when it really doesn't. The victim does not like being alone in their misery. They can also play down your own success and point out weaknesses that may make you sad. They may in reality be jealous of your accomplishments. Avoid such people. 5. The Big Talker The Big Talker talks a lot, but doesn't take action. He has big ideas that he never executes, and he procrastinates every day. The Big Talker is someone who can make you stall on your plans. They talk about the things they are working on, but never actually work on them. You need people who motivate you to achieve your own dreams. Hanging out with a talker will give you the exact opposite. 
talk is cheap. No one wants to hire people who can talk about their work. They want people who can actually do the job. 6. The doubter. This category of people never believes in any plan or idea just going as planned. They are latently paranoid. They worry about everything. Such people cannot start enterprises because they are scared people will steal from them. They don't want to quit a bad job because they are scared no one else will hire them. They literally crawl through life and never take any chances or do anything spontaneously. You do not want this type of person in your life. Building yourself can sometimes mean investing your income and trusting your judgment. Having a doubter as a friend will not allow you to do that. 7. The Selfish One Some excel in making friends with people to gain something from them. They are usually fake nice people and can go to great lengths to please you. Do not be fooled. A person who is friends with you solely for what they can gain will leave you once he has gotten it. The selfish one gets bored when you discuss issues that don't concern them. They spend time with you and ensure that it profits them more. They never do anything without considering the future or present benefits for themselves. You really don't need such a person in your life. They may also lie to you from time to time to avoid making commitments that are not profitable to them. How then can you trust such a person? 8. The Drinker The drinker may even appear harmless from a distance. They do what they know how. Drink. They drink day and night ceaselessly and really seem to have the stomach for it. If you are friends with this type of person, it increases the odds that you may get pressured to have a bottle or two. Drinking alcohol is terrible news for your liver. There are so many ailments associated with long-term drinking. Associating with such a person will make them come to pass. The sad thing about drinking is that it seldom goes alone. It is usually accompanied by women, drugs and cigarettes. If you have a lot of big dreams, you probably should not hang out with someone who you will be with in the pub all day drinking. Drinking is not productive. You need to cut off people who do not encourage you to do productive things with your life. Avoid the drinker. Sometimes, all it takes is a bottle of beer and a handshake to get you started. 9. The Pretender These types of people live fake lives. They drive expensive cars but in credit and travel to countries they really cannot afford. They have deep insecurity and need to validate themselves by showing off a luxury exterior while dead broke inside. Sounds familiar? Such people are chronic borrowers and seldom pay back. It is not wise to give your hard-earned money to someone else to live a lavish lifestyle you cannot afford. If they want the lifestyle so badly, let them make money and spend it on themselves. Avoid such people. If there are any in your life, cut them off. You're better off without them. There will always be those who encourage and motivate you and those who put you down and make you an emotional mess. Choose your friends wisely. If this video inspired you, subscribe to our channel. We love you.